first cross-country Olympic World Cup for the women of 2022. And we are go, go, go then. Here we go. The first cross-country Olympic is out the way. And a big crash. Immediately a big crash in the middle of the field. Oh, but look yeah, out, everyone. The so if you did watch last year's series, you'll know that this was, this was exactly what happened in the first four races. Yeah. Arden Lecomte would go to the front, and she would not look back. Yeah. McConnell can see Luan Lecomte in front of her. That's encouraging for the Australian. Terps found third place with Stiga in the Rock Garden right now. What a st Determined. Yeah. Stiga, the speed she entered that rock section. That yeah, helps her also very fast. There's Stiga. <laughs> Terpstra really starting to gain on Rebecca. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> Once you get offline, it's hard to get going again. And remember, those shoes have got big metal plates in the bottom, probably on a carbon sole, so offer zero traction. <laughs> And now Terpster ahead of Rebecca McConnell for the first time. Yep. So that's interesting. Now, will if can Terpster bridge this gap and can Rebecca McConnell go with her? It does look like it might be coming back together a little bit this race. Well, interesting. She started making. And she's having a look. Yeah, yeah. Back. yeah. She, she knows doesn't often do that. Yeah. Great ride for Caroline Bow. Look at that. Yeah. Fifth place on the podium at the moment. Yeah. So Look at this, Bart. On the Terpstra, yes. They're on her. So yeah. Terpstra is now on Luan Lecomte. And now, for the first time, Rebecca McConnell in the lead of this race. Look at this then. Wow. Yeah. Caroline Buyer, ghost team. On the number 13 bike, having a great ride. Bronze, actually. And then Mona Mitawalna. And those two battled last year in under 23 category. <laughs> Terps to driving this one forwards now. She does. And she now Terps to start to put the heart on Lecomte. Yeah, yeah. She and does. she's going. <laughs> Stiga still on fourth. Lonely ride for her. Here is Caroline Beuer, followed by Mona Mitowalna. And it was five and six in the race. Last lap time here in Petropolis in Brazil. But I mean, the, the race is still wide open. Yeah, I agree. The woman from the Netherlands leading at the moment, but not by much. Luan Lecomte there in second place. McConnell right her will. Ten seconds is all Terps has got to play with as we go on to this last lap. But they can't wait that long anymore. No, if they're going to catch her, it needs to be sooner rather than later now. Can she make it on a Terps track? She did it once to win a World Cup. Can she do it again? There was Rebecca McConnell, never won a World Cup. She might do it today. This is Mona Mitowalma from Austria. The second Austrian rider in the race. And in a podium position in her first Elite World Cup race. She's got to be happy with that. Mitten Walner. Oh! Look at this! Well, a mistake, a small mistake, but it's allowing McConnell to get on her wheel now. It's a sign as well. It's not only a mistake, but it's also a sign that she's exhausted. Oh, and now McConnell is on the wheel of Van Terpster. Luana Lecomte a bit further down, but uh, Rebecca McConnell and Terpster together. Oh, my goodness me. Well, Rebecca McConnell rides to the front now. Absolutely nothing in it. And Lecomte, they've dropped her properly now, but she yep. won't be coming back into this race, not to battle for the win. Mona Mitowalna, that's the number four in the race. Yeah. She yeah. yeah, she did. Look at this then. Let's see how I'm fast in. she is here on this climb. Yeah. But it's finally happened for Rebecca McConnell from Australia. She conquers the rainforest of Brazil to take her first. Elite World Cup win! Rebecca McConnell does it in Brazil! What a ride for a long time coming! Ah, oh, you've got a feel for that one. That's incredible! A great ride for Anne Terps, the second place for her today. Luan Lecomte, so strong at the start of this race, couldn't quite maintain it. Still a great ride in the third place for her. Ah! Oh, 
And Stinger, is she going in front? I think she has. Meanwhile, the car respond, and Stinger's going to get this fourth place finish today. Yeah, I'm pretty lost for words, obviously. Um, yeah. Um, so special, so crazy. I am um, coming down that hill into the finish. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? Sorry, my language is just. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, carry on. <laughs> And Terpster comes in 17 seconds in the end, the gap. The one, the cop, ahead of Laura Stigger, that brilliant effort from Stigger on that last climb, getting her fourth place ahead of Mirnvolner in fifth. We're about to go racing here, seven laps for the men. First cross-country Olympic race of the year for them. The lights will go from red to green. We're go, go, go in Brazil. Singh has a look over his shoulder. Look at the pace of these riders on this climb. Yeah, Singh is fast. Wow. I think it's Hatterley who's moving up. Oh, it's uh, Avancini himself in yeah. fourth place. So Henry Avancini sat in fourth place at the moment. Very close together still, these riders, the top 20. Look at the number five bike, that's Nino Schur, yeah. the nine-time world champion, the reigning world champion, coming up around the outside. Flucker goes through in the red. Sink leads him on to lap number two. Litter in fourth, Schur to third, Carrod, Hathley, Marot, Colombo, Blevins, Flucker in the top ten at the moment. For the first time, the Rock Garden. Different line for Nino Schurter, he's taking the B line. He likes to have a clear vision in front of him. Yep. Ah, it's going to go even faster. Believe me, it's not because Nino Scher can't do the A line. It was a good move. Third place, Nino. The world champ. Said he was feeling good in short track. Avancini responds, though. Yeah, yeah. And straight to the front, I think Henry Avancini goes now. Swathing through the rainforest, this protected rainforest, actually. And the next World Cup that Nino Scherter wins, we'll see him equal the record of Julian Absalon. All-time wins record of World Cup races. Julian Absalon has 33 of them. Yep, you heard me right. Nino Scherter, 32 at the moment. Nino now leading the race for the first time. Wow, well, look at this. Interesting to see that. That means serious business for him today. And it's now Avancini who is... Look at this, right on the wheel of Nino now. Has a look over his shoulder, he's still there. Oh, he's looking like he wants someone else to take the lead now, perhaps. Singh. And someone has. Yeah, Singh does it. No, it's Hatterley, it's Hatterley. Hatterley. Five riders, and then a small gap. And here we see... It. Oh, no. It's Matthias Flücke who had a crash. Well, they've all come back together as they cross the line and go out into lap number four. That gap is getting bigger. Yeah, it does look that way. Yeah. I think Hatterley has a technical problem. Hatterley, yeah, fifth place. Avancini's he's gone through in fourth. It's now Avancini who is closing the gap. He has to. Roll in there, though, but... Yeah, not pedaling at all. No. It seems to be something's wrong. Now it's Nina Shorta who's pushing hard. Nearly 19 kilometers of this race covered. The gap is getting bigger. Yeah. To Avancini, 17 seconds. Number two taking the high line across there. I think it's for the first time now, Vlad Daskalu is taking the lead. Looks like it. Filippo Colombo there, he is already in touch almost with uh, Avancini. So Filippo Colombo now in fifth place. Sebastian Finney in the purple kit. Five, fourth, five, fifth. Four podium spot as well. Yep, four, fifth and six. The fight for the last podium spot, these three here. Avancini dropped back to seven. Yeah. Yeah. Filippo Colombo and then we have Sebastian Finney and Pierre de Fromor. It's now Maxime Murat. Wow, wow, wow! <laughs> Unbelievable. Murat then, where's he found this energy from? Here we go! Scher goes to the front. 
Dus was je Vinnie on the place, dan heb je Felipe Colombo en Piero van Mond sixth. Nino Schert starting to wind it up. Oh, they're going with him though. Marat and Daskulu spray on his wheel as well. He can't shake him. Coming up to this last turn really before they plunge back down. Where is Marat finding his energy from? Oh, it's all out from Nino Schatter. Marat taking the lead. I don't believe it. Marat leads into this last turn. Just this descent to come now. Can he overtake him? Oh my goodness me. Maxi Marat looked in so much trouble. He has to go. Here comes Maxi Marat spreading for the line. Schatter trying to go with him. Daskin has got nothing. Here they come. Who's it going to be? Schatter. Schatter takes the win in Brazil. His 33rd World Cup win. And the very last stage, Nino Schatter equals Julian Absalom's record. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, this one hurt, but it's going to taste good. across the line in fifth. And Nino Scher! Yes! Yeah, it took me, took me now three years for this, uh, this uh, World Cup victory, dessert, dessert. And uh, yeah, it's even uh, better in front of uh, a nice crowd. And such a tight battle, it was uh, insane with, uh, with Maxim. Oh, I almost lost the game. The game. In the last meters, but I didn't give up, and uh, that's a sweet one, yeah. And I've got to say, rewarded with one of the biggest wins of his career. Yeah. Weeks with the record to do it in Brazil. <laughs> to do it in Brazil. And as a world champ, yeah, why not? Yeah. He did it last year. Yeah. He lives for his sport. Yeah, he does. He puts everything into it. He has done for such a long time.